It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Wednesday, the 18th of March. I'm James Spann. Some rain at times between now and the weekend. We'll see if we can sort out the greatest chance of rain in coming days for you. Let's start with the big picture water vapor satellite view. Got the uh, impulse over Texas pushing our way. That will bring rain late tonight and tomorrow morning. That's a radar at mid-afternoon. That was at 222. The rain just approaching the Mississippi River, so it's still a pretty good ways off. Uh, looks like the uh, main window for this first batch of rain will come after midnight tonight. Temperatures are not as warm today, but still a bit warmer than forecast. Uh, the uh, clouds are pretty thin. We've basically got a partly sunny sky, so we've got mid-70s around here. Birmingham, 74. Still, it's about 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. Up north, we have 60s. Decatur, 65. Cullman at 67. I will expect upper 60s, low 70s for the next several days. Pretty cold up in the northeast United States. Uh, they've got some snow falling in pockets up there, but uh, elsewhere, temperatures about where they should be for this time of the year. But it's really quiet uh, uh, for the middle of March. Typically, something's going on, but uh, just a few scattered winter weather advisories up north, and that's about it. Convective outlook today and tonight. Thunder possible tonight over parts of Alabama, but no severe weather expected. Tomorrow, a small marginal risk of severe weather around Wichita Falls, Texas, and that's about it. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Monday morning, suggesting rain amounts of about one to two inches here. Heavier rains are lined up along U.S. 80. Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, Opelika, those folks there may be picking up over two inches in spots if this is right. All right, model fans, this is tomorrow. At uh, 1 o'clock local time, this is at 500 millibars, the 12Z run of the GFS. Note that uh, trough hanging back over Baja, California. And often those can be problematic in dealing with when they lift out and how much rain they produce because the core of that is not in the American upper air network yet. But clearly we're going to see rain tonight. Uh, this is 2 a.m. Thursday after midnight tonight. Uh and rain at that point should be fairly widespread. There could be some thunder, but no severe weather. And then really by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, the bulk of that rain is off to the east. It's still raining in Gadsden and Anniston and Roanoke and places like that. But for Birmingham, it looks like it's mostly over. So really for a lot of you, the main window with the first batch of rain will be from about midnight tonight until 7 or 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And this is 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. The weather relatively dry. Only a few isolated showers are showing up. So understand, you'll see a lot of raindrops in these little graphic forecasts, but we're going to see some nice breaks in the rain. Uh, I would say the high tomorrow would be pretty close to 70, but again, clearly the better chance of rain early tomorrow morning. Now, this is Friday, and again, the, the day's really not going to be that wet. Uh, clearly, there could be some rain around, but the rain should be light and spotty. The sky mostly cloudy, and the high should be around 70. So not exactly a rainy day, but not a sunny day either. Now, this is Saturday as the weekend begins. And again, the bulk of the day Saturday looks dry. Uh, the high probably mid to upper 60s. Rain off to the west. This is midnight Saturday night. The rain increases. So if you've got something planned outdoors Saturday, there's a chance you might get that in with no rain. Uh, but it looks pretty wet Saturday night. And this is Sunday at midday, and the rain begins to move on to the east. So this looks like another uh, nighttime uh, event into Sunday morning. And then Monday, still the chance of maybe some lingering light rain. Uh, but again, I wouldn't call it a rainy day, and it could be the better chance of rain will come early Monday morning, and the high would be in the 60s. And this is Tuesday. We are dry. Uh, the sky should be mostly sunny. The high will be close to 70. And this is Wednesday of next week. Yeah, fairly zonal flow. Got some troughing over the northern plains. And for us, that looks dry and pleasant. Lows in the 40s, highs in the low 70s. Hey, let's check the end of the forecast. Uh oh Western Ridge, Eastern Trough. This is uh, Saturday, March 28th. And if this is right, that might drive us down close to the freezing mark that morning. Of course, this could change easily. This is out there in the land of voodoo, but something like this is certainly possible. But the numbers com coming off the ensembles don't look too bad. High 60s and 70s, lows mostly 40s and 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.